Did you know that you can play most of the popular Android and iOS mobile games on your Windows PC or Mac computers? Well, you can using what's called an Android emulator. There are a handful of good Android emulators out there, but I personally prefer one that is called BlueStacks. I'll quickly show you how to download, install, and configure the BlueStacks emulator, and then I'll show you how to download, install, and run the game from this video's title that you came here to see. And then after all of that, I'll show you some gameplay footage as well so that you can see how good the game runs using BlueStacks. So you'll want to open up a web browser and go to bluestacks.com. Once there, click on the green Download BlueStacks 3N button. And once this page loads, just click the green Download button here. Now I've already downloaded this to my computer, so you can see the file's already there. And it's a pretty big file, about 415 MB. I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already got it. Downsize this. And you can see the file on my computer here is the EXE standard installation file on Windows. Just double click it and go through the process and then we'll see it here in a minute. So in order to shorten this video, I skipped the installation process since that's just kind of standard. You'll see now you have a BlueStacks desktop icon, so you open that up and it'll take just a minute, especially the first time loading. So we'll skip this and come back in just a minute. So once it has booted, you can see that it's on the Pika World tab, and you just want to switch it to My Apps. And you can see that Summoner's War has been installed by default. From time to time, BlueStacks will install a random app on there. That's just this way of being able to keep the software as freeware. You can just ignore it for now. So we'll go over to Settings real quick. You can see under Display and Aspect Ratio, I have it on System Default. I have a 1080p monitor, so I could switch it to that and be a little bit higher quality. I'll leave it on System Default. For DPI, switch it to Low if your game's running choppy, high if not. For engine, you can do OpenGL or DirectX. I used to do OpenGL, it's the most compatible. You'll want to check advanced graphics mode beta. For CPU cores, I have eight. I like to set it to four. If you set it too high, sometimes it can lag your computer. So four is pretty good. And I usually like to set it to around three gigs of RAM. So around 3000 MB should be good. Once that's done, just hit restart now and wait for a minute and it'll restart and we'll see you in just a sec. All right, so once it is restarted, I'll go ahead and maximize the screen. And you can click on System Apps. Once you're in there, you can click the Google Play button just like you would any old Android device. And we'll start searching for Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle. It should come straight up. There it is. Just click the green Install button, and it'll start to download it. Depending on your internet connection speed, it may take a minute or two. It's a 77 MB download. I've got fast internet, so it's not going to take but a few seconds. And it's going to install, and I could click the green open button here, but I'm going to go ahead and close the tab and show you it's on the home screen. You can open it that way instead. And as it starts to load, um, I'm getting ready to skip ahead because I don't want to take you through a boring installation or setup process of this game. So we'll be back in just a sec. All right, so I skipped the process where I leaked an account. So now I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay on here so you can see how well it runs. And then I'll comment at the end of the video. So there you go. As you can see, the game does run really well with blue stacks. There are a few little issues here and there, nothing major, but sometimes the frame rate drops a little bit. But overall, it plays really well. 
That's going to be it for this video. Good luck setting it up on your own computer. Bye-bye now.